in my mind, the number one waiver wire priority pickup this week is Ramondre. Ramondre Stevenson. Stud running back rostered in just under 30% of ESPN leagues. Uh, rocketed out the gates against Cleveland. 20 carries, 100 yards, two scores, four catches, 14 yards, 25 fantasy points in half PPR scoring, which is our scoring mode of choice. Definitely, by far and away, I think the number one waiver wire ad this week. Uh, are you spending any fabulous on him, or are you just going to eat the crow and move on? No, no crow to eat. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that that was predicated on Damian Williams or Damian Harris, Harris being 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 healthy, which he was out with a concussion. My assumption is he's coming back. Um, Did Ramondre, not practice today. Well, that's because they have a Thursday night game. They have to issue an injury report of would they have practiced, and he still has not cleared concussion protocol. So it's possible it's Ramondre's gig again this week. Uh, pretty solid matchup against the Falcons. Um, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he looked good. He was catching passes out of the backfield. Brandon Bolden's still there. Um, but uh, I, I made the unfortunate mistake of starting James Robinson last minute over Ramondre. Ramondre. Um, so, yeah, I, I think you should add him. Uh, rookie running backs tend to come on a little bit uh, later in the season. He's had a couple uh, did, did not suit up games. Uh, coach's decision. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, nowadays everybody want to talk quick. They got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips, just a bunch of gibberish and motherfuckers act like they forgot about Ramondre. So, um, it's, um, I was wondering where it was going to go once you started that. And then it was like, Oh, we were going Ramondre. with Ramondre. Yeah. The Dre. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. I've, I've already sang that song a couple times on the podcast and it fits another person. Um, so. Yeah, he, he was really good. I, I don't know what else you want me to say. I think he's worth an ad. I'm assuming Damian Harris doesn't clear concussion protocol for this week's game. Um, and because of that matchup, I think he's at uh, RB2 at worst uh, with RB1 upside um, just because of the matchup. And if they're going to give him the goal line carries, um, they seem to not really let Mac Jones. I mean, he throws to Hunter Henry down at the goal line. Johnny Smith's basically been out the whole year, uh, or at least it seemed like it. Um, so yeah, I love, I love Ramondre in this spot in a great matchup, even though I try to generally avoid Thursday night games just cause they can be a little wonky. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a great pickup and play. Um, I'm assuming that it's a one week, one week play. If you're desperate, if you're um, four and six and you gotta yeah, be making go. these playoffs. Yeah. If, I mean, honestly, it's one of those things where it's worth it. Just go all in and get them for a one week, a one week win because you have you have to win. And I mean, each of the last three weeks. So he's had eight, 10 and 20 carries um, after a, a coach's decision did not play against the, the Jets. But before they had five and 11 carries. So after a, a really slow start as a rookie running back, Bill Belichick and, and McDaniels have kind of worked him in a little bit more. If you really need a win, just go all in. He seems to be the out of the week uh, for a one week buffer. Um, if you do not need to go all in to win, um, I think this is probably a 15 to 20 percent play. It's later in the season at this point. Um, the next the next week or two is good, um, but I, I do have concerns after that. Uh, the schedule is at Buffalo starting week 13 uh, by week and week 14. So that inherently brings his value down a little bit. And then they finish with at Indy, home against Buffalo, um, and then home against Jacksonville, which is a good matchup, obviously. Um, but you could be looking at snow game in in um, in New England the last couple of weeks that are in New England. So um, I, I think it does limit his upside at least a little bit, and I'm expecting Damian Harris to come back. He is my body is too fabulous for you, babe, player out of the week. He's uh, that was worse than anything I've ever said on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just downright awful. Oh my God. 
Uh, I think he's a great ad. You know why? Because I think he balls out again next week on Thursday night football. And then you know what you can do? You can try to trade him because guess what? Most people's trade deadline is coming up November 26th. Uh, is the ESPN default trade deadline, uh, I believe, which is a week from Friday, because I'm assuming we also use the default trade deadline for ESPN. Uh, let me double check that, uh, only because I know you guys were complaining one year about it. it's too early. So let me let me double check that. So anyways, I would uh, try to grab him, scoop him, and then uh, pass him along, because as Alex mentioned, that playoff schedule is not that appealing 